Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel, Do Ministry Gaming. And today I wanna to share with you a third-party Path of Exile tool that I absolutely love called Better Trading. Now I will say right off the hop that I don't believe that this tool is against any of the terms of service. So I do believe it is safe to use as far as I understand right now. However, I have personally only used this for one league, 3.13, uh, but I do know the tool has been around for a while and, uh, and uh, I do believe it is safe to use as far as I understand now. Now, what this tool is, is that it is a browser extension that augments and enhances your Path of Exile trading experience. And I'll have a link in the description below as to where you can download the extension. Uh, but the install is very easy, very straightforward, and uh, only takes a few seconds. And actually the tool itself is actually incredibly easy to use and very intuitive as well. But in this video, I'll do a quick demo as to uh, what you can do with the tool and walk you through a little bit about a process on how you can set uh, the tool up for use. So what I have on the screen right now is the official Path of Exile trading website. And what I mentioned before was that this tool or extension augments and enhances your Path of Exile trade experience. And uh, what it actually does is it gives you the ability to store your searches into one click buttons. Okay. So right over here on the right is the better trading uh, extension I've got open here. And uh, very quickly, just if you wanted to make this smaller or make it disappear, you can just click that little arrow and it turns into a little button here. So you can open and close this panel here. But this panel is the extension here. And uh, like I say, it can store your searches. And so what I have here, these four, that says searches, Frostbomb, Instacker, these are folders that you have to create uh, to store your searches in. And I've made you know some in my 3.13 uh, for each of the characters that I was experimenting with or buying gear for. And I want to set up some trades so that I can continually look up these items without having to type in all of the... Uh, you know, the affixes over and over again every day uh, until I get the item. And so I'll just show you very quickly how it works. If I open one of these folders, you can see under my searches folder, which is just something I named, you can see a whole bunch of stored searches that I also named as well. You can name these yourself. And I'm just going to click on one of these to very quickly show you this anger's watcher's eye was something that I had stored uh, for a particular watcher's eye that I want to uh, purchase. And so I clicked that and you can see it's loaded up a bunch of watchers eyes. Now these aren't just any watchers eyes. These are watchers eyes that I had put in um, filters for. And this particular uh, search was for a watcher's eye that had percent physical damage converted to fire damage while affected by anger. And one of the following other mods that I have two of selected. Um, and so I've got that stored. And as you saw with one click of the button, I was able to pull that back up and see all of the results uh, that currently there are on the market for this particular jewel. So I think you can probably already immediately see what this tool is used for, but just to, you know, uh, explain it in more detail. Uh, you know, you you only have to put in your search criteria once, and as long as you've saved it into search, you can continually just look this up with a one button click. Versus in the past, personally, if I didn't end up buying this watcher's eye, let's say on the day that I made this search, uh, the next day, if I want to search this watcher's eye again, I'm going to have to type in all of this stuff again or add the filters. Uh, that's the way I did it anyway. It was highly inefficient, but now with just uh, one click of a button, I was able to search that up. And I'll just show you, you know, some of the other searches that I had, you know, I was looking for some uh, watchstones that had uh, more rare monsters even. It was just one thing. So I, you know, click a Chromium watchstone and it pulls up that list. You know, this strength belt, uh, I think I was looking for uh, T1 strength and T1 percent attributes. Uh, and uh, as you can see within one click, I was able to pull up all those search results. Right now, I've got it selected as any instead of online only because it's the end of the league and I, I wanted to uh, just demo this, uh, but, the, but the league is pretty dead right now, so I have it on any, but you can save it as anything. You can save it as online only, you can save it as standard, hardcore, whatever league you're playing in, however you wanna save it, it will save all the exact details that you have stored into that particular search into the button. Now, I think you probably get the hang of it by now, but just to click a few of others, I called this one Strength Large Cluster Jewel. I mean, it's just what I named it. Really didn't have anything to do with strength, 
but uh, you know, it is just a cluster jewel that I had very specific notables that I was looking for. So it's very useful that way. Look at this one here. If I click medium cluster jewel research, uh, this was a a cl medium cluster jewel particular ones I was looking for. Uh, I had you know listed all of the notables that I wanted onto a medium cluster jewel uh, with some very specific criteria into and i only had to set this up once imagine if i had to set this up every time every day that i wanted to look it up i would never search for this but now i have that capability to and i might find some value in terms of crafting that uh in terms of my own personal strategies that i might be able to pull off now because i have these one button searches all right, so enough of that. Uh, I will show you how to store one of these searches. It's very simple, like I say, the tool itself is very intuitive, so you'll probably figure it out yourself anyway. But I've got these folders again. I've got these folders open here for my different characters and different searches. So you can have as many folders as you want. You can collapse all your folders here. Um, and then if you wanna create a folder, and the first time you load the extension, you're gonna have to create the, your very first folder. You just click the new folder button, name it whatever you want. Uh, you know, I'll just call this one goodies. You can add an icon to it if you want. Uh, I'll just make this the mirror, mirror looking. So now I've got a folder called goodies. And you might notice immediately that there's this big register current trade button. Very simple. Let's say I did put in all of these. I won't even do a new one. I'll just redo this one. I put in all of these I've spent. This actually probably took me 20 minutes to do. Uh, I put in all of these notables in uh, for medium cluster jewels. These aren't even all of them, by the way. These are just the ones that I was particularly looking for. And uh, I do the trade. I see all and only Ritual League. Uh, and all you have to do is hit this register trade button. And it asks you for a title. Uh, this particular portion of the UI is a little finicky. If you, if you click off of it, it'll it'll immediately go away. Uh, so be careful when you're you know dragging, clicking and dragging the, the name there. But if you hit re register trade, you can call this something. We'll call this uh, medium cluster goodies and uh, save. And you can see that search has now been saved into your folder. And if you want to ever pull it up again, I've cleared my search filters. Again, all you have to do is click that and there you go. Your search has come back. So this is just an insane tool um, for, you know, I don't know about you, but I oftentimes have a ton of, a ton of things I'm searching for all the time, uh, daily. And, uh, and so it's very useful to have just one button clicks to be able to pull all those up. So very quickly as well for each of your searches, you can also click the uh, ellipses here for each of your searches, the three dots, and it pulls up a small menu. Uh, you can copy the URL to a clipboard. You can do live search. Uh, you can save the active trade. What that does is if you've made any changes to your filters, for example, and you want to overwrite your uh, your search to the new one, you can save as active trade. You can also mark as complete, which I find quite useful as well. If you've got a list of stuff you want to buy and you mark it as complete, it gives it a check mark, but you know you don't really necessarily want to get rid of it yet because maybe you think you're going to want to search for it again in the future somehow. Uh, you can do that and mark as incomplete as well. You can delete, you can edit. So uh, you can do all of those things as well. All right, now uh, onwards to what else you can do with the tool. I mean, this is pretty much it, but there's some other cool things. Now check this out. So I've got a list of what, a hundred different jewels here. And so there's something called pinned items. So if you go to the next tab here, there's something called pinned items. So as you're looking through these jewels, let's say I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down. Oh, I, fi I find this one. Let's just say I really like this one. It's got Punishing Presence, Vengeful Commander, 0.1% life per second, and 4 chaos resistance. Let's just say I really like this, okay? I can click, there's this new button here called Pin. You can click this Pin button, and what it'll do is it'll pin it. It basically will pin it. Now, let's say I keep scrolling, I keep scrolling, and I really like um, this guy here. Punishing Presence, Vengeful Commander, 4% area effect of auras and three attributes. I'll pin that one. Let's go down a little bit more. Uh, let's say I like this Strength Mana Regen one. Let's pin that one. So now you can see I've got three jewels pinned on my list. And not only are they there, I mean, they show you exactly what your jewel is. So you can keep track of the ones that you like. Um, 
So one thing that I found personally, when I go through something, especially like cluster jewels, I'm scrolling, scrolling. I like a particular one, but it's not quite what I'm looking for, but I do want to keep in the back of my mind. Now I can, I've got a pin and uh, all you can do, all you have to do, let's say you want to go back to it even, but even though this thing is here, I mean, already you can see what it was. You can refresh your memory as to what it was and keep track of it. But let's just say you want to go back to it. All you have to do is click scroll to the item result and bada bing, you are right back at the item on the list, no matter where you scroll to. You know, I can scroll down and down and down and down and down all the way. Let's say I want to go back to the second jewel, click on it, and there we are. We are back here. So it is absolutely amazing uh, that way. And then let's say I've got five of these now, and all of a sudden this first one didn't look so good anymore. You know, I found some better ones. I can just unpin it, make it go away. The second one, unpin it, and now I'm back down to one. Unpin, pin. Uh, super useful, very easy to use. And then finally, there is, of course, a history uh, tab here in the trading. It doesn't just tell you what you have looked up. You can actually click these and go back to literally what you were looking at before. Uh, and so uh, the the this is incredibly useful as well. If there were some things you looked up before and maybe cleared by accident or wasn't really sure and, and you want to go back to it. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the tool. Uh, as you can see, there's not much to it, but at the same time also, at least for me, just added an incredible amount of value and saved me uh, both time and headache uh, to search items over and over again. And so uh, uh, I just absolutely love this tool. I don't use a lot in Path of Exile, but this was just uh, really changed my life when it comes to Path of Exile. And uh, which is why I'm also sharing it with you guys. But that is it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe. I also stream on Twitch, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Times are in the description below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.